stitches it, but it's half time. So after losing the first quarter, we played a tremendous second quarter, and we go in at half time, 1 8 to 1 7. Anybody's game, but we should be much happier now than we were 15 minutes ago. Every one of our players has picked it up since the first quarter, and the move of Philip in at number 15 has been a tremendous move. Half time, 1 8 to 1 7, Holy Cross back in front. Second half just about to get underway. 1 8 to 1 7 for Holy Cross after being down 5 or up 1. 30 minutes to go in All Ireland Junior B Hurling final 2014. No change at Holy Cross team, one positional change. John Fogarty on wing forward, Kevin Dwyer midfield. Kevin's pace will be fierce and important out there. John's strength hopefully in the half forward line. Keep that ball travelling into where we can do big damage, which is inside. The message is loud and clear. Cut down on the freeze. Get fast ball inside. We can make hay inside, especially against the wind. There might be more room. Kevin gets possession straight away. He'll need to move it. Two man him and they, they strangle him and take the possession of him. Reardon onto it. Brett Owen with him. Owen keeps him out, but he delivers up the wing. Connor turns on to it. Philip with the 15. What a job he did for the last 10 minutes of the first half on that fella. Referee signals a line ball in for Temple Lantin. First free up the or first first ball up the field in the second half. So, line ball for Temple Atlantean right above in the corner, but with the wind it could be curling across the goal. Could be quite dangerous if he makes a good contact. Right up in the corner. Line ball for Temple Atlantean. Owen covers back, Brendan facing it. Kevin Dwyer watching outside for the short one. Scanlon's looking for the short one outside. Kevin seems to have it watched. So, line ball for Temple Atlantean. Here it comes. He cuts it and cuts it well. A wide ball would be good here. There is no wide ball. It's staying in play. And Owen pushes out and Kevin brings it another bit. Brendan in there as well. We don't need to give any freeze in these rocks. Kill it anyway for starters. Don't let them make progress. No. Philip rises and strikes out. Does well, but there's Atlantean man there and it's Scanlon because Kevin had come back to help the backs. Scanlon's shot. Will it fade in from the far side? It will not. So, it stays 1-8 for Holy Cross. 1-7 one, one for Temple Lantine. The breeze is straight across here in our faces, but it is helping Temple Lantine the second half. Tyke won't get as much purchase on the puck out. Gets a good contact, will make the 65 and drop there, maybe a little less. Dennis rises, it breaks for Dan and he kills it well. He'll need to get forward out here though. Can't strike on the back foot here because they are strong to hit. We must go forward. Referee blows the minute he gets the chance and it's a free in. And twice now in the second half, we're after being caught in possession. Once Kevin DeWire and now Dan Murphy and off it comes the free that might, have, might level it. We must move ball as quick as we can before the second Lantine tackler ap appears. Because once they stand you up, they're physically strong. And they strip the ball fairly quick. 1 8 to 1 7. Reardon, the talisman of Temple Lantine, standing over it. He scored a few against the breeze, so you'd fancy him on this one. The pick is good, the strike is true, and the game is level. 1 8 apiece, a minute into the second half.
So, high goodie second puck out, the last one fell well short. When it started to drop, it dropped very quick. Does his best and makes a 65 and beyond with this one. Kevin underneath it, Mikey's underneath it, and Mikey snaps, and that was crucial to have a big man under it. A fair flick from the Glanty man Collins, though. Mikey needs help, there's two Glanty men coming. And Reardon is way out from it. Mikey lead it fierce well to dispossess him. John Fogarty's first bit of possession in the second half. Dennis did well to deliver. That's the one we want. Peter Gavin catches and should take him on here. Finds a pass to Ski and he should use his legs and his, his wrist. He finds Duggan. Duggan. Duggan with the shot. Jeez, pod, he was inside. It was a weak shot. But anyway, in fairness to the boys, they made a good move together there. Just the finish wasn't right. But that was very good play from our forward line. Bar the last one. Owen does well to get in front of Reardon and his first touch is excellent. Plow on Owen, forward. He does very well to John Fogarty. John in the play much more in the second half. Back to Owen. What a point to do for us here. What a point to do for us here. Owen Maloney with brilliant point. Just like he did in the semi-final against Bally Raggett. Owen goes up from wing back and a tonic score for us. A grand bit of hurling. 1-9 to 1-8. Tremendous score. We've scored as much today in 35 minutes as we did in most of our matches in an hour. The puck out from Murphy the goalie. We'll drop on Dan with Jicey on the way. And Jicey is coming to it and Jicey will take it in front. Great read now to Jicey. His left-handed clearance. We've a lot of loose men around here though. We have to get to grips with this thing. Where Reardon is staying out because there's the punishment for it. This won't do. We need to pick up the red helmet fella and stay on him. Because he is their key man. John Reardon. We must, we must look at that problem now because it is a problem and he's right underneath this again. This is ridiculous. We need to put a man-man mark on him. John Reardon, he goes again. No one keeps him out towards the line. He goes up the line. He bounces off the ground and comes back up a small bit but Owen has him cornered. He gets his shot away though and this time off his left side he has found a range. 1-9 apiece. That's a great score by any standards in fairness off his left side. But really Holy Cross need to tackle this problem and tackle it now. The call has to be made. Number 19 is loose and he's only here for Temple 19. No one needs to get out a bit. If he could at all, he's after been in to play a lot and possibly tired. That's a great fast ball again. First touch is vital here, P Peter. When we get fast ball in, we must make it count. This will go to Kevin. Kevin to deliver, maybe. Kevin did well to get away from that one and needs to deliver before the tackles come. And does deliver. A clever ball to Jack Skane, who should use his feet to get away. And that'll give him room for the strike now. There's room for a strike now. He goes instead for Peter. Maybe that was ambitious. But anyway, in fairness, they're trying it. The young kids are trying it up there. Ah, Peter did very well to fight back. But Collins for Temple Glantine brings it away. Towards this side. We're a bit off our men on this side. Now this time. Up the field goes Temple Glantine. And still. Good strike in. And Joyce is underneath it. And Phillips underneath it. And Philip to kill it here. He has done a great job on 15. But 15's a tricky customer. The bice of him corralled in the corner just near the end line. A wide ball would probably be the best out of it. Stalemate on the end line and then finish a wide ball is the best we can get out of it. So, 1-9 apiece, five minutes into the second half. And the play has certainly opened up a bit. We've got a bit of a run in it, but so have they. So the stalemate of the first five minutes of the first half not been repeated here. No more throw-ins. And the ball moving faster as lads find their feet. Here we go now. A puck out. Down it goes. John Fogarty underneath it. Needs to get, we need to get John into that game. He kicks it forward, so we do. Centre back for, for Glenty. Their captain, Mark McCarthy. Misses it. Mikey Lee in there again. Scanlon on the play again. And he drives it forward and he did well in the circumstances. Philip and Reardon. Philip and the second Reardon. Philip tried to pick him. Reardon will take him on and Reardon will take a free in. So, the first time we've allowed 15 for them to get back into play. He wins him a free and this should be a, a point for them and the lead. Or second in a row maybe. John Reardon again. Referee going down the field to check on the Temple Lantern centre back and Captain Gerard McCarthy. He hasn't been as dominant as one would expect, and that would be completely down to Mike Lee's unbelievable work rate. He has put in some effort so far in the 36 minutes we've had. What's happening in the middle of the field is interesting too. Instead of we being allowed to pick up John Reardon with Dennis McCullough, they have put a man marking Dennis McCullough. They have put a yellow helmet there with James Collins, Mark and Dennis McCullough. And Reardon is still getting a lot of play on his own, and that is a worry. Still, nothing we can do about this. This is a free in. We can't tackle him on this one. Jicey's down above in the corner as well. Hopefully he'll be okay. Long stoppage. 
This will have to be allowed for at the end of the day. One nine for Temple Dantine, one nine for Holy Cross Billy Cal. 33, 37 minutes gone in the game. A long stoppage here, an injury to Alan Joyce. Referee signalling that he wants a that he wants a substitution. Not really his call. Dan Murphy, uh, 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 John Dunn warming up on the far side. We would hope Joyce will be okay. He has been carrying sore ribs, but has soldiered on very well. A word from Jimmy to Philip. The instructions will be given here is what needs to be done. It would appear as if Joycey can't continue. And that is a serious loss for us now. Philip will go. Philip will stay at full back. Joycey missing from the corner. And we will be bringing in a sub at this stage in our back line. We haven't had to disrupt our back line very much this whole year. They've been outstanding. A loss for us as Joycey goes off. Dan Murphy goes back to cover for him. And it would look as if John Dunn is coming on on the far side. Wing back. And again, John will need to move ball fast here and not run into tackles. Reardon to get them the lead. 1-9 to 1-9. 38 minutes gone. There has been a long stoppage. The wide stance, the flick of the hurley. Taking his time and he's entitled to do that. The pick is good in the circumstances. The strike is true. 1-10 to 1-9. Both free takers have been excellent. Reardon for Kemper Dantin. Party comfort for us. 1-10 to 1-9. Pocket for Temple Glantine. Linesman on the far side wants something now. All this breaking the, breaking the, the momentum. Glantine going with a substitute into their forward line. And that's the reason for the break in play. Here we go. He'll go in on Dan Murphy. Dan will pick him up. Tied with the puck out. Does well. Gets it to the far 65 this time. Does it lot him in underneath it? Kevin Dwyer, ideally we'd have bigger men underneath where it drops. And the smaller men coming on the, on the break. But it didn't happen there. And Glantine ran to the break with Patrick O'Connor. His strike was good, his strike was very good. Umpire very slow to signal, he was more interested in where the ball was gone out in the net. But he eventually gave it wide. Glantina raising a question over this. The umpire had been slow to signal. Referee going in. The other umpire didn't signal at all, the near umpire signalled a wide. He seems to be going across to his other umpire saying it went wide. The other umpire is not budging so it will stay wide. He'll come around the side and he will signal it wide. Will that be important in the end of the day? Certainly the Atlantean crowd are looking for it. And the umpire and the, the linesman on the far side now is his flag up. Maybe he's going to throw in his tuppence worth. The two umpires have agreed. The refers agreed with them. Now the linesman intervenes. And now the referee goes in again. This is time down to Swanee. And there could be a big cheer if this is overruled for the home team here. The home team, Temple Atlantean, just out the road. The ref goes in again. He gives orders again. And this time they go for the flag. And that is highly unusual. But both umpires agreed. And the referee went in a second time. Anyway, the score has gone up. It's 111 to 19. We're down two points. And tied with the puck out. And we need to lift our game like we did in the first half. Dennis underneath it. Mikey underneath it. Mikey gets up his highest. Kevin, get out of that tackle. He does well. Brent, move it. He does. Peter Gavin had read the fast ball and was in front to it. And snapped it. And took it on. He needs to deliver to Donald Duggan and does. Duggan's first touch is vital. His first touch let him down and we lost momentum. His second one was no better. A free, a, a, a rock ensues. We must get possession in there as quick as we can. A fair play to Duggan. He fought back well for it. Got it to Mikey Lee, but we've no one in the square. It's a problem now. And there it is in the square and we've no one in there. We must have won in there the whole time. A big puck from Murphy. Brendan is well back underneath it. She barely beat him and it fell behind. Brendan back again, should kill it for one of our men. Connor Hayes does fierce well to rise it. Gets it to Kevin DeWire, but the pass went too far. And things like that do games change. Young for Temple Dantine. Turns back and finds Collins with it. Don't foul him, lads, whatever you do. They stood him up. It's dropping in front of the full back. And he got a flick on it. The sub that was just in got a flick. And on things like that do games turn. A very, very important goal for the sub who just came in for Dantine. A big tall fellow was in the right place. So from a ball in the square at one end, it finished in the square at the other end, and it ended up in our net. And now we've a mountain to climb, no question. 2-11 to 1-9. We need the next score for sure. Paddy Comfort out the field now. Paddy Comfort does well as he's done all day to deliver in. Peter Gavin on it. Peter Gavin catches as he's done all day. And turns away. Can he get it to the far post where we have men waiting? We've three men there. Can he turn? Can he cross? There was two on him and they are good in the tackle. 
And Glantine have their tails up now. Kevin to break it back for Poddy, maybe. Kevin has it. Kevin turns and will deliver in a clever ball to Dennis McCullough. There's Poddy on the move, he is, and Dennis finds him. Poddy, two hands would be better, but Poddy gets past him. And does well again. Poddy's confidence is tremendous today. Again, the tackle from Glantine is very good. It's a second man every time coming on the tackle. For forcing Poddy away from the line and a line ball in for us. Forced him away from the goal. 2-11 for Glantine. 1-9 for Holy Cross Belly Cal. And we need a score shortly. We were down five in the first half and closed the gap in five minutes. We're down five again now. Poddy off his right hand side. Glantine have loads of bodies back in the jersey just like the Black Rock of Cork jersey. The yellow with the green stripe. Poddy strikes it very well. But it in straight with Glantine hand. We've men in the middle. Kevin and Dennis. Dennis should move for the pass in case it's needed. Dennis has the pass. A pint, lads, will do fine. Dennis moves forward and gets a free and does well. Atlantine man goes down. I hope he'll see yellow before he gets up. So, we need this free. We need this score. We are making grounds up the far side, but we haven't translated into scores. Glantine will take their time here. There's been a huge amount of stoppages in this second half with injuries. 13 gone. In, in essence, we've only played about nine. Temple Glantine 2 11. Holy Cross Belly Cal 1 9. And Glantine have an old breeze with them. <laughs> 2 11 for Temple Glantine. 1 9 for Holy Cross Belly Cal. 13 minutes gone the second half. 17 to go and there should be quite a amount of stoppages. Let's hope it's in the Milton spot by the time the 13th minute comes because there'll be at least five after that. It'll be a free-in for Holy Cross after all this is over. Fella got injured in the act of fouling Dennis McCullough. Long, long stoppage. I don't see the ref calling for a substitution this time. So, two goals and 11 for Temple Glantine. One goal and nine for Holy Cross Belly Cal. Glantine have had the best of the last five minutes and we need a score, no question. A lot of men in there, a lot of young lads in there. Referee gives the yellow eventually, the first yellow for Temple Glantine. And a free in for Paddy. He has been dead on all day with him. He struck the ball very well and has looked very lively from general play as well. This is a difficult free though against the wind. Paddy stands over it. Donald in front of the goalkeeper. Paddy strikes very well as he has struck all day. Paddy comfort has been outstanding under all sorts of pressure today. 1-10 to 2-11. And the next score here would, would, would be very important as well. Glantine 2 11. Holy Cross 1 10 now. Murphy with the puck out. He's in no rush. Goes back to get the ball. Comes up with it. And this will drop a long, long ways past midfield. A lot of men underneath it. There it goes. Up the field it goes. Temple, Temple Glantine under it. John under it. Light man under the ball. But we have runners there. And Dan did well to dive down. John, don't run into trouble. Drive your ball, John. In fairness, he tried to do it. Don't run into trouble, John. He comes through with it, he got through with it and needs to strike now. Ah, he did very well to Paddy Comfort again. And Paddy moves it on another bit. It may make the sideline. It doesn't, Mike Healy does great. Turn and go, Peter, turn and go. Because the red-green helmet will not catch you. And still Peter, the pass was neither here nor there. Fagsy, goal! No, a brilliant save! It's gone in! It's gone in! And Peter Gavin was the key there. Mike Healy kept the ball in play that he'd no right to. Peter Gavin made, made, made ground. Pass to John Fogarty and his first big incision since he went in corner forward. And game on again. Very same trend as the first half. We were slow for the first 10 minutes and now we've got a goal and a point back to back. One E stay out of this, don't break it back. They do that. Jack, get in there lower. Get your hurlies up on this lad, don't foul him. Well done, boys. Great work. Forced him to puck it into the corner where there's no one, only Connor Hayes. Philip coming as well. 2 11 to 2 10, a tremendous contest. We have two there, two, two to their one, and Connor brings it out. Glantine making us very fight very hard for it, but Hurdle has showed great composure. Connor surely got fouled there, but the ref didn't see it. And 15 is a very good player for them, and he gets the free. Funny enough, he saw that one. 2-11 two, 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 two for Glantine, 2-10 for Holy Cross Belly Cal. But a free in for Temple Glantine. 
and they could restore a two point lead here for them. But we have shown that their backline and particularly their inside backline is there for the taking. So a two point lead isn't into the world here at all. The breeze has got out of it a bit, 17 minutes gone. John Reardon over it. As I said, both free takers, John Reardon and Paddy Comfort, have been tremendous for both for their sides in spite of the blustery wind. So, 2 11 for Temple Lantin, 2 10 for Oli Cross Belly Cal. The first time in, mon in months and months that we've scored two goals in the same game. But we felt they would come today, and they have. Here we go again. John Reardon is rock solid with Emily Strix straight over the bar. 2-12 for Temple Dante. 2-10 for Holy Cross Belly Cal. But it's still game on here big time. With 17 minutes gone in the second half. Tyke with a great puck out considering the breeze. Have we men under it? We have. John Dunn under it. But the, slight, the taller man grabbed it for Dante. And he comes with it. Surely he tossed that. Surely he tossed it. This ref is only seen what suits him here. And the neighbours are getting the, getting, getting the breaks here. There's no question with that referee. Tyke with the puck out. Even the locals here seem to agree that the ball was tossed. Puck out for... Puck out for Temple... For, for Tyke and Holy Cross Belly Cal. Down the middle it goes. Mikey Lees are stolen. Man under that. What a catch. What an effort this man is putting in today. Peter Gavin up and take on that fellow. Must take him on. He's a weak link for them. And we've taken him on again. And Peter turns and Peter 